Hi, the time has finally come for my, well, it's not really an unboxing anymore because I got very excited and already looked at it, but my Final Fantasy X, X2 Collector's Edition is here! I'm very pleased to say that I am in no way disappointed with this. I haven't, or rather I hadn't, looked at other videos prior to looking at it myself. I kind of wanted to experience it first hand. So um, I'm going to show you what it's like. You've probably seen it already, but who will? Now the first thing um, you'll notice is it's the kind of classic in the UK or in the PAL region, the white background with the Amano designed logos kind of normal. Um, that's the sort of game case that we've always expected as whereas in North America I think I know that alternate covers have been made I've seen alternate covers for the North America region anyway so maybe this is why they've put it as a collector's edition because in North America this isn't a very common feature I don't know but very happy I much I, I do sort of prefer this to the limited edition cover which bear with me a second I will magically make appear here just like that um, yeah I mean there's nothing wrong with this but I do prefer the white background so that's happy days the second thing I want to point out I bought this from North America because that's the only region it was or is available in as far as I'm aware and the odds that it will be made available to buy within the UK is pretty low it's not very often that i've known that to happen but if you are interested in getting it you'll notice it's an all region historically speaking region one games do play over here my boyfriend bought demon souls a whole year early and played it for a whole year before it was released over over here that's kind of always been the case but the blu-ray disc that is included in here which we'll get to in a minute plays on our region consoles no questions asked so if you're worried about buying it and you're not sure or that you're going to access the content it's not an issue we're going to go to the back now um, for those of you who remember or for those of you that still own your original Final Fantasy 10 copy you'll know that this background with Yuna is actually the original back or at least it was over here in the UK again I don't know what the back of the NTSC copy was but over here in sunny England um, this was the background cover anyway so I was happy to see that and then here we've got some more screenshots from both games so 10, 10, 2 and 10 again and down here it's, it just gives you a really brief description of the collector's edition content or includes sorry and I'll just read out what it says Full size art book packaging featuring 40 pages of imagery from the beautiful world of Spira. Good, good. Visual soundtrack. So it's not a CD, it's a Blu ray disc with audio and visual images. I've already had a look, but I'll explain more about that later. Also, five lithographs of iconic artwork and characters. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I think they could have done better than five. Um, maybe eight. I don't know. Um, We'll get on to that later. If you've seen my previous video for this one, you'll know what a faff and what a hassle I have getting these parts open. As you can see, I've actually left it open now, just so I don't damage it. But you'll be pleased to see... It's a slipcase! <laughs> no damage required from my part. However, it was damaged in the post, that's the only downside. You might not be able to see it, so it was dented a little bit. I'm not going to cry about it. The odds are I would have done it myself eventually, so I won't get too upset. Back to the book. It actually comes um, as in the style of a book. Again, if you've seen my previous video for the limited edition, you'll remember me saying something along the lines of... I was semi-expecting them to do same thing with that where they have the disc within the book you know I wish they did what they did with Kingdom Hearts blah 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 so hoorah they have done what they did with King the Kingdom Hearts remix which is oopsie 
ta-da! The game's in the back. The reason I've shown you the back first is because when you open it up, it's so heavy weighted with the art pages that it kind of falls there. That is the spine, so to speak. So it's hard not to go straight to the game and disc. Um, I've just realised I completely skimmed over the book itself. So it's really nice hard case, really nice and sturdy. We've got Yuna and... I think that part of the logo was meant to be Sin or Water. I could never really make my mind up because Amano, I love his artwork, but it's so suggestive and you kind of have to take it as it comes. It doesn't always say in black and white what the image is. Sometimes you see one thing and someone might see someone else. Anyway, so that's the 10 version of the cover and then 10 2. No mystery here. We've got Payne, Yuna and Riku looking all guns blazing and happy and ready to kick some bum so yeah and then the spine's kind of nice too and upside down there we go <laughs> so the first front pages so i'm just going to keep moving around because I, I don't want to block it out so it kind of just gives you a table of contents it gives you final fantasy 10 the art the and this is the concept for the art book by the way so it gives you some cinema the cinematic artwork, Aeons, concept art, and then more or less same thing again, tend to cinematic artwork, dress sphere, it's not so much artwork as it is just uh, stills of the dress spheres, and concept art. Um, in here is where the lithographs are covered, I keep saying, wanting to say lilographs, lilographs, but it's lithograph. Right, here we go, I'll show you the art cards, and it's quite nice how it's in a slip bit. That's cool, because they could have just put it in loose and it would have just kept falling out and would have eventually got creased. Here we go, we've got the limited edition <laughs> cover, funny enough. Um, oh, hang on, it's all falling out here. And you can kind of look at it either way. Very nice. It's really lovely, it's a lovely quality. Don't, I, I don't dislike the image, I just... Out of all the images they could have picked for the front cover of the limited edition, I don't quite get why they went for this particular one, but whatever. Uh, so that's one down. The second one is like the most iconic moment in the whole series. This half of the image was actually on not on the back of the pamphlet, but like on the last page of the pamphlet that you got in the game, inside the little booklet that come with it. That was like the last page, so it's quite nice to see that because at the time that was probably one of the only promotional pieces of art amongst a couple of others that they had done. This next image, I'm not gonna lie, I've seen this image on the internet a few times and I thought it was fan made. It didn't, the quality of the image, personally, I know I'm gonna get slated for saying this, but it didn't seem as good of a quality image as what I'd seen in other bits, and that's this one here. There's something about Yuna. Her face, it doesn't sit right with me. It just looks... <sighs> yeah, okay, it looks fake. I know it's not real, I know it's fake, but it. I don't think it was finished very well, but that's just me being picky. Okay, um, the fourth uh, lithograph is, again, the, one of the most iconic images of Tidus. Yes, and I don't like saying Tidus, but that is how it's pronounced, apparently. Though tide, wave, I know. Anywho, with the Brotherhood sword looking all very happy to be in the middle of the sea on such a sunny day. I do like that bit. And this, okay, this is one of my slightly preferable images. And this is actually, I think this one was actually drawn by Tetsuyu Rubu Tetsuya Renumura. <laughs> and that's the promotional art for. Actually, this was, again, the cover. For the pamphlet in the 10 to case again over here i don't know about other regions that's not all inside that part of the book underneath all the lithographs you will find this and that is the soundtrack list or like the set list sort of thing so you open it up and it gives you it's nothing nothing special to look at but it gives you the full list of tracks and uh, who wrote them and who performed in them, so on and so forth. And then additional credits are at the bottom. So that's everything in the 
beginning of the books so we'll just move on to a few pages I won't show you all the art books that's 40 pages man but I will show you some of the cool bits this bit this is the exact same statement that's made in the art book for the limited edition so you're not missing out on any hidden secrets or anything okay here we go we've got all the characters still so we've got Tidus's, um character still sort of thing on Lilla lithograph and then we've got Yunus on the back of the cover which is a bit of a shame because I think Yunus is so pretty with these lovely bright pinks and oranges going on it seems a shame that her image is on the back stuck with a bunch of things on top of it but oh well so we've got Aurans I never noticed I've seen these images so many times throughout the years I never noticed like Tidus and Yuna in the corner nor did I notice Yuna in most of these images or I never noticed Sid in Riku's and I never noticed Yuna in Kamari's <laughs> and actually you know I did notice Yuna in Lulu's because Lulu's image was again somewhere on the pamphlet inside the game I don't think it was the it was either the front like the page within the front or the page at the back I can't remember now and then you got Walker. It's a shame because Walker's image is kind of dominated by the rest of the Besaid Aurochs and, and Tidus, you know, is whereas the, the other four images you've got the character that it's meant to represent very dominant, as whereas Walker's kind of, he just looks like an extra, which is a shame because Walker, although I never really cared for him as a character, he, he's still a very main part of the story. Okay, here we go. Now we're on to Aeons. Now, Okay, this is one thing I'm a little cheesed off at, and I'm going to let you guess why. Just hold on for a second. Have a nice good old look. Now, uh, have a guess why I'm cheesed off. Where the frick is Vale for? Where is he? Am I being a complete spoon? Is he there and I've missed it? No, he's definitely not there. So, but apart from that, nice artwork for all of the Aeons. I think we even get two versions of the sisters there you go cindy mindy sandy whatever their names are looking all badass i mean look we have a twerking bee or hornet whatever she is okay so this these pieces of artwork are in the limited edition book so we'll skip on a lot of this is actually in the limited edition art book but there are additional things within this one so i'll just keep oh, i'm too short sorry i'll just keep going there we go some more aeon stuff or rather they're the faith yeah this again this is all in the limited one but because it's so much bigger you can actually see the detail an awful lot better and i'm not having to squint trying to read the annotations there you go there's more and it's quite nice there's in the annotations there's a little bit of explanation as to what influenced all of it to begin with like you know wasn't going to look like that originally and neither was and I don't think there ever has been in the history of games one set design and they stick with it there's always kind of like trial one trial two but it's interesting how they come to these sort of decisions here we go now we're on to the 10-2 lot there you go and here we go now we're on the character stills for those again images we've seen a dozen times before if not in the promotional stuff somewhere within the art the game cases there you go, and now we've got all the dress spheres. We never actually had ooh, this dress sphere or this one here. So this one is, I've forgotten what it's called now, something to do with festivals. Festivalist, that's it. And I'm not sure what that one is because I haven't got it yet, but that's nice to see it because I hadn't actually started 10-2, the HD one before I saw this so I was skimming through and I saw these two dress spheres and I kind of looked up and thought oh what's that what are those oh I hope I get to use those and that the festivalist one's quite useful actually so that's all gravy here we go we've got pains again oh, one thing I will say about the dress spheres there are some where I look at them and think they look tacky like for example, Yuna's gunner dress sphere is so unique, yet Payne's and Riku's is just so... Mm. Riku's isn't so bad, actually, is it? No, Riku's isn't terrible, but you just can't, I can't quite understand why... Although, if they put as much effort into every single one, they would have been there for years trying to design these things. There we go, got Riku. I'm just trying to move along. Here we go. So that's all stuff from the limited one. 
I'll skim through the things you can see in there. There we go. In fact, I think that's it. So there's not a lot of extra bits in the art book, but enough to tide you over. And there you go, there's the back. So we've got the Blu-ray and the game. And that's it. Not really an awful lot to it, but... Sorry, someone's decided to test their car alarm or something. <laughs> anyway, um, I know it, this probably is, isn't particularly exciting. The, this version of the game has been out just as long as this one, which is, what, two weeks now? Was it worth what I paid for it? Yes, it was. Um, I'm not going to tell you how much I paid altogether because I did have to pay quite an extortionate postage fee because it came from Canada and the guy charged me for a little bit of insurance as well, which is actually a good thing. But either way, um, the actual item price was no different to what I would pay if it was released in the UK, so that's all good. If you are lucky enough to get your hands on a copy, um, I would recommend you do so, especially if you're an avid collector. In fact, if you're an avid collector and you haven't already got this, then I'm, that's quite shocking. Because um, I pre-ordered this some, I think I pre-ordered this in February. It was a last minute decision really. Sorry for that abrupt interruption. It came to my attention that that the funny bleeping car alarm I thought I was hearing is actually my camera telling me I was running out of battery. So <laughs> sorry about that. As I was saying, uh, thank you for watching. If you've got any comments or questions about the product then leave a comment. You could always give it a, the video a thumbs up if you liked it you know or if you didn't like it a thumbs down no one seems to promote the thumbs down button anyway thank you for watching the next thing that i have actually pre-ordered is the limited edition of murdered soul suspect a game that i've been looking forward to ever since the announcement very happy that it's getting a limited edition release square enix seem to be hot on that at the moment so i've pre-ordered that that's in july i think if, ooh, or is it May? I can't remember now. Either way, that's the next planned unboxing. If anything happens in the meantime, subscribe and you'll know about it. Alright, thanks. Bye.